So welcome to tree traversal. We're going to look at a couple of different ways of doing that. And first, we have to talk about what tree traversal is. So traversing, if you had something simpler like a linked list, would just be going through each item from beginning to end. And you might take all of these values and add them to an array and then return that array. But if you have something like a tree, it's more complex. There's different ways that we can approach this. So one of the common ways of doing this is we just start at the top node, then we go to the next line and we do the 21 and the 76, and then we go to the next line and we go across here. This is what's called breadth first search. Another approach that we could have is instead of starting at the top, we go all the way to the bottom. And in this case, we're going to go all the way to the bottom to the left and do that 18 node first. And we've gone as far left as we can. So we'll go up and then we will go down to the right. And we've done everything on that side of the tree and we come back up to the 47. And because we're doing left first on that other subtree that we haven't visited, the deepest node that we can get to that's to the left is the 52 node. We'll do that one next and then come up and then finally come down and do the 82 node. This is what is called depth first search. And we're actually going to write three different depth first search functions. Each one is going to return these in a little bit different order, but breadth first search and depth first search are going to be the two broad categories of tree traversal. 